hello friends so here in this video we have to find out the inverse z transform of 1 upon z minus a the whole square if mod z is greater than a now what is this mod z greater than a so this is nothing but the region of convergence it means it is the region where our z transform exists or it is convergent now let's draw this region of convergence first so mod z equal to a we know that it is a circle with center at origin and radius equal to a so if i'll draw it here let's say this is a circle where this is a center and this is the radius a now we have region of convergence as mod z greater than a so here i'll say roc that is region of convergence is mod of z greater than a now if i want to draw this area this is mod of z greater than a then you will find that this area is nothing but the area outside the circle because till the circle boundary we get mod z equal to a and inside the circle we say mod z is less than a because there we find the radius less than a so this area which is given mod z greater than a is nothing but the area outside the circle so this is the region of convergence and for this region of convergence we have to find out the sequence now as we want to find out z transform of this given function i'll consider that function as f of z so let f of z is 1 upon z minus a the whole square now to find out the inverse z transform of this function in this region of convergence let's start with the region of convergence so if we have been given mod z is greater than a i can say it is nothing but mod z by a that is which is greater than 1 now if i take this a and z on the other side then we'll get that 1 is greater than mod of a by z that is we can say that a by z is less than 1 so if a by z is less than 1 then we'll say that z transform exists now for that here in this given function we will take z outside so here we will get f of z as 1 upon z outside in bracket we will get 1 minus a by z the whole square now guys let's observe once again here so if mod a by z or a by z is less than 1 then that time here we will get the value which is less than 1 and as soon as this value becomes 1 then here we will get 1 minus 1 that is 0 and once it becomes 0 we will get answer as infinity and that time we say that series is divergent because we are getting answer as infinity but since we want the convergent series hence the region of convergence is given and therefore mod a by z should be less than 1 so that if it is less than 1 then we will never get 0 over here and we will never get answer as infinity it means we will never get a divergent series so now this function when we'll solve we will get 1 upon z square into 1 minus a upon z the whole square now let's take this 1 minus a by z the whole square in the numerator so we will get f of z equal to 1 upon z square 1 minus a by z raised to minus 2 now to expand this bracket we will use the formula so we know that 1 minus x raised to minus 2 is nothing but 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube plus so on so this is the series of 1 minus x raised to minus 2 now here we have value of x as a by z 
सो हियर वी विल गेट एफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू वन अपॉन जेड स्क्वेर इन ब्रैकेट वन देन प्लस टू इन टू एक्स एक्स इज ए बाई जेड सो ए अपॉन जेड प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर दैट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ दिस ए बाई जेड विच इज ए स्क्वेर अपॉन जेड स्क्वेर प्लस फोर एक्स क्यूब दैट इज क्यूब ऑफ दिस दैट इज ए क्यूब अपॉन जेड क्यूब एंड सो ऑन सो द लास्ट टर्म वुड बी लेट से एन प्लस वन a रेस टू n अपॉन z रेस टू n नाउ इफ आई टेक दिस वन अपॉन जेड स्क्वेर इन साइड द ब्रैकेट वी विल गेट वन बाय जेड स्क्वेर प्लस टू ए अपॉन जेड क्यूब प्लस थ्री ए स्क्वेर अपॉन जेड रेस टू फोर प्लस फोर ए क्यूब अपॉन जेड रेस टू फाइव प्लस सो ऑन एंड हियर वी विल गेट प्लस एन प्लस वन ए रेस टू एन अपॉन जेड रेस टू एन प्लस टू नाउ गाइज वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द इनवर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द गिवन फंक्शन नाउ वी ऑल नो द डेफिनेशन दैट इनवर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म or i'll say z transform of the function f of k is nothing but summation n or k is from minus infinity to infinity a k into z raised to minus k so this is the formula of z transform of the given series where this a k is nothing but f of k only now If I want to find a z inverse of this, then we'll say it is z inverse of this part. So here I'll say z inverse of this whole summation series, which is from k equal to minus infinity to infinity, a k, or you can say f of k into z raised to minus k, and its value is f of k. So it means. If we want to find out the inverse z transform of this function, we should find out the value of function of k. Now, here in this series, if you'll observe, then this series has the highest term as one upon z raised to n plus two, whereas the f of k is nothing but the coefficient of z raised to minus k. So it means here in between the series, I should get a term z raised to minus k, and the coefficient of that term will become my f of k. so if you see here then i have kept one term blank and if we consider this term then this term should be z raised to n then only when it will go in the numerator we will get z raised to minus n like z raised to minus k now to get z raised to n over here see outside the bracket we have z square term so by z square when you multiply to the term z raised to n minus 2 you get z raised to n here i'll write so z raised to 2 into z raised to n minus 2 is equal to z raised to n so it means if we are getting z raised to n term over here then inside the bracket this term must be z raised to n minus 2 hence we are getting z raised to n over here now if this term is z raised to n minus 2 then what is the coefficient so here we will say it will be a raised to n minus 2 because this power is always same and this term will be n minus 1 because this number is always one greater than the power so here we will get n minus 1 a raised to n minus 2 so now here we got The coefficient of z raised to minus n as n minus one into a raised to n minus two. So here I'll rewrite this series as one upon z square is nothing but z raised to minus two plus. Here we'll write two a z raised to minus three, then three a square z raised to minus four. So two a z raised to minus three plus three a square 
z raised to minus 4 and so on and we'll say that the required term for us is n minus 1 a raised to n minus 2 into z raised to minus n so n minus 1 a raised to n minus 2 and z raised to minus n plus so on now here we got the coefficient of z raised to minus n so here i'll say therefore the coefficient of z raised to minus n is equal to n minus 1 a raised to n minus 2 where n must be greater than or equal to 2. Now to get the answer or to get the function from the inverse z transform we will say therefore the coefficient of z raised to minus k is equal to. So for that we will replace n by k here we will get k minus 1 a raised to k minus 2 where k is greater than equal to 2. And guys here we got the coefficient of z raised to minus k which is nothing but the inverse z transform of the given function f of k which is equal to k minus 1 a raised to k minus 2 for k greater than equal to 2. Thank you.